Here's the surface wave transmission line demo layout. It's a 12 volt power supply. It's good for, oh, I don't know, I think it's set 13 volts at 30 amps maximum. It's powering a uh, Toshiba 80 watt brick, which is driving through a short piece of coax. It's probably a half a dB of loss, no more. Transmitter is driving one of the older big full-size launchers like I showed in the QEX article just clamped to a tripod with number 28 wire SWTL the wire itself is running across the patio maybe 35 feet or something to another tripod at the far end. There is a second launcher. This one's a foreshortened one. It's about half the length and made out of Depron aluminum foil, so it's really lightweight. Um, both, each launcher has about the same performance, probably about a little under 2 dB of insertion loss. The output of this launcher is fed through a piece of really lossy cable. It's small diameter stuff you can see here. It's about a dB of loss. And going to a bird power meter with a 100 watt slug, a 100 to 250 megahertz slug in it. The output of the watt meter is going to a 150 watt uh, 50 ohm dummy load. So if I look at the standing wave ratio into the whole system, we're seeing about, yeah, very hard to read, maybe about 90 watts forward, and maybe four, three or four watts reflected, something like that. Together, when I key it, and we're probably running 80 or 90 watts uh, from the source, seeing about a quarter of the input power. So between 20 and 25 watts going into the dummy load at 146.46 megahertz. Okay, so here is a 12 volt power supply powering a uh, 80 to 100 watt transmitter. I'll turn it on. We're showing not all that much drive. There should be a bit more than I'm seeing, but let's say it's uh, maybe 80 watts or something. And meter to a dummy load at 146.46.